I'm going to talk for a minute about the weasel. Uh, weasel is an interesting little guy, obviously a member of the weasel family. We have three uh, of the weasel, actual weasels in Alberta. We have the least weasel, and we have uh, the short-tailed weasel and the long-tailed weasel. And the least weasel is a little wee guy that isn't much bigger than a mouse. And he's a real, real tiny little guy, really interesting. But we have in this area mainly the short tail and the long tail weasel. So I'm, I'm going to kind of focus my attention on those. They are also called, the weasel is also called the ermine. So when you hear the term ermine, you know that it's the same, uh, same animal. In the summertime, they're a brownish color, much darker. In the wintertime like this, they change to, to a snow white color, blend right in with the snow, and the last tip of their tail is black. And that black tip is all year round and they're back to their brown color for the summer. They always have a black tip on their tail. They don't take very many weeds. They're good little guys. They're the mousers and um, they're very interesting little guys. I do take some uh, in areas where people have, they've been killing chickens and uh, getting into chicken houses and getting into mischief that way. That's probably the, the most that I do take. So uh, they are a carnivore, and it sounds kind of gruesome, but I always say they're the most bloodthirsty carnivore in the boreal forest. Uh, they're a little wee, short uh, uh, animal, very narrow. They can go into just about any hole that a mouse can go into because they're so thin. And they are constantly on the move for uh, food for the winter. They have to eat uh, at least half to uh, their own body weight, or even in the real cold times, almost the equivalent of their own body weight every day. So they are constantly looking for every little nook and cranny that they can find. And they, uh, when they get into a chicken house, a lot of times they don't even know what's killing their chickens, but there'll be two holes in the top of the chicken's head or in the neck, and they just draw the blood out of the chicken like a, like a vampire. So that's why I call them the bloodthirsty. So it's a good thing they're so small because they're so ferocious. And with that, I'd like to show you uh, what I use to uh, control an animal of, of that size. This is the weasel box, and it's pretty simple. It's about 12 inches long. Um, in the front, we've got a little hole here that is not much bigger than the weasel itself. And the idea then is that we've got our controlled approach. Okay, so nothing uh, any bigger is going to come into this box and thereby we're protecting any other animal from getting caught in the, in the trap. So at the back of the trap, just got some screen here so that the smell can get out but the animal cannot get in by the back of the trap. I'll turn it back around to the front. So when we open it, it's just the box has just got a little nail on it here. We swivel and there you can see inside, and there are different traps that are available, but I like the little rat trap, an oversized mouse trap. It's very effective for the weasel family, so it works the same as a, as a mouse trap. The only difference here is that the pan where we would put the bait is a little bigger than on a mouse trap, obviously, so that if the animal tries to step around it, he's still going to set it off. But So we would put our bait right here on our trap, and uh, they're again, they're carnivores, so a little piece of a muskrat or some meat, uh, fresh meat, and then we would place it inside the box, like so, okay, and that's all there is to it. And we'll close it up. So now we've got bait in there, and uh, the kind of bait that, that the weasel would be interested in, and when a weasel comes along, because of his characteristics, he's not going to hesitate to go inside there, as I've already mentioned, and try to pick up his supper. So, But no one's cat or any other animal is going to get caught in this if I'm trapping for someone that's had trouble with killing chickens and, and that type of thing. So that's the idea of the weasel box. It has the controlled approach that we like and the other features.